Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the small signal circuit for the N channel enhancement type of MOSFET and we have been given that this MOSFET is biased in the saturation region and its transconductance is equal to GM. So here, this small signal voltage VD is applied at this point and here, we have been asked to find the small signal gain VO divided by VD. So let us find that. So here the given circuit is already a small signal circuit. But further let us simplify it and let us represent this MOSFET with the small signal model. So if we replace this MOSFET with the small signal model then the equivalent small signal circuit will look like this. So we know that when we replace this MOSFET with the small signal model then it can be represented by the current source that is ID is equal to GM times VGS where the VGS is the voltage between the gate and the source terminal. So here the source terminal is connected to the ground terminal and here if you observe then between the gate and the ground terminal of the MOSFET this resistor RO is connected. So here since the source is also connected to the ground potential so we can say that this resistor R0 is effectively connected between the gate and the source terminal and here this voltage VGS is the voltage across this resistor R0. Moreover here there is also feedback between the drain and the gate terminal. That means here this resistor R0 is connected between the drain and the gate terminal and moreover here we also have the resistor at the drain terminal and at the other end of this resistor this small signal voltage VD is applied. And here the output voltage is seen at this end. That means here this will be the output voltage. So now let us analyze this circuit and let us find the voltage gain VO divided by VD. So here as we have seen this voltage is equal to V0 that is the output voltage. So as you can see here the voltage at this node is also equal to V0. So if we apply the voltage divider rule between these two resistors then we can say that here this voltage VGS is equal to R0 divided by this R0 plus R0 times V0 or that is equal to V0 divided by 2 that means the voltage VGS is equal to V0 divided by 2. So now let us apply the KCL at this node. So now if we apply the KCL at this node then we can write this current ID plus V0 divided by 2 times R0 that is this current that is equal to this VD minus V0 divided by R0 that is this incoming current and here this ID is equal to GM times VGS and here the VGS is equal to V0 divided by 2 so further we can write it as this GM times this V0 divided by 2 that is this current ID plus V0 divided by 2 times R0 plus V0 divided by R0 that is equal to this VD divided by R0. So now on the left hand side let us take this V0 outside. So on the left hand side if you take the V0 outside and further simplify the equation then we can write it as this V0 divided by R0 times GM times R0 divided by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 and similarly on the right hand side we will have this VD divided by R0. So here this R0 R0 will get cancelled out and further if we simplify it then we will have this VO times this GM times R0 divided by 2 plus 3 by 2 and on the right hand side we will have the VD. So now if we further simplify it then we can write it as this V0 divided by VD that is equal to this inverse of this GM times R0 divided by 2 plus 3 by 2. So in this way we got the expression of the V out divided by VD and hence we can say that this is the equivalent small signal gain of the given circuit. So from this we can say that for the given question this D is the correct answer.